Hey guys, what's up? Spectre here, and I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, the last time I updated you guys on my life was this video. So I've been a contractor for about a year uh, for IGN, but starting very soon, I don't know if I'm going to put up, probably going to put this video up after, <laughs> I, it's official, but I will be producing content at IGN. Um, it's really weird to say, and that doesn't feel real when I say it out loud. <laughs> Because again, it's something I've been chasing for like six years. I'll be working at IGN, and hopefully when coronavirus settles itself out, I will be down at the studio um, in LA uh, making content, <laughs> making videos for you guys. And none of that really wound up happening. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to take the video down because as I said in that one, I mean, it's kind of, I was updating everyone who watches the channel regularly, but it was also like a milestone marker for me in the future. So even though that all kind of fell apart, I wanted to keep it up anyway, and I thought I'd update you on what's going on now. So let's talk about it. So I uploaded that last life update where I said I was moving and going to be working full time in studio at IGN on April 26th in 2021. So it's been a while and I've made a few videos ever since working there, but I don't know, I wanted to make a life update and I, I set up the camera like, and it just, it never like felt right in the way that I have been doing it so many times. And I just kind of built up this like life update video, like into this big thing that would have taken forever to edit. And I was just like, you know what? I can't sleep. I'm going to play Diablo and maybe some other stuff. And I'm just going to talk to you like you're sitting in my living room. And yeah, I guess to bring you guys to speed, Around the holidays in like 2022, I had one of those surprise Google meetings, you know, the ones that get put on your calendar late at night and HR is there. Um, and, you know, I found out the next day that my position at IGN, which for those of you who didn't know and who maybe didn't watch the last video, uh, Life Update video, I was a producer. So I produced podcasts like Unlocked and um, Nintendo Voice Chat and Game Scoop and and beyond and just stuff like that. Uh, Next Gen Console Watch was my baby for a little while. Um, I was head producer on that and I also did the Daily Fix. So I did quite a bit there and this isn't gonna be like a video of me shitting on IGN. I absolutely love everybody that I worked with and they're the most wonderful people ever. Like they're seriously the best. And um, if you wanna hear my opinions on Ziff Davis, that's different. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I mean, I guess I, woke up one day and just lost my job because I was made redundant. Um, and yeah, it was just restructuring or whatever corporate word you want to use for that. And um, I didn't think anyone would care. For those of you who've like actually watched all my videos or who have followed me for a long time, I've like, I worked a, 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 a lot of crappy day jobs and volunteered for like websites to like write articles and make videos like digital trends and Kotaku and stuff as a side gig. And that took me like seven years to work myself up towards being a producer at IGN. So I was just like terrified that um, I would never work <laughs> anywhere around games ever again because it took so long to get that gig. And I just like posted about it on Twitter and everyone was like super nice. And I had a bunch of people in my DMs that wanted to work with me or hook me up with someone who they thought could like use my skills, services, whatever. And yeah, and I got snatched up by Alchemy Labs, who makes Job Simulator and Vacation Simulator and Cosmonius High. And another thing I can't talk about or I'll have another one of those calls with HR. And it's been a blast. I mean, my official title is senior content strategist uh i just i i make videos for them <laughs> and i make ads and trailers and social posts and stuff like that and my job is silly and you know just wonderful um going from news and this is for anyone who has any interest in like the industry i guess going from news to a much slower environment at a studio is just like night and day like I've had my boss tell me that I need to work slower because I was so used to having like same day turnarounds or like next day turnaround times um, which when you're working in like games journalism like of course like the news doesn't stop so and I've just been kind of enjoying it my lease ended like right before I got laid off because I was supposed to again move to IGN so I kind of told my landlord like hey I'm out of here um, and then that wound up not happening. So I got this new place that you're seeing B-roll of. So it's just been cool. It's been awesome. 
Uh, I've had to get used to working at a different pace. I wanted to be working at a game studio by this point in my career anyway, so it's almost like it fell into place for me. But honestly, that's just like the result of just like wonderful people who've stood up for me and like went to bat for me and like brought my name up in certain meetings and like just got me in the door at places I never could have gone. I like I'm not you know, for anyone who's watching this and is even slightly interested in like the games industry, I'm not someone's cousin. I'm not someone's like boyfriend. I'm not someone's like younger brother or something like I didn't have anyone in that like industry. So like to get in there by myself, of course, with the help of the people I just mentioned, like it, it's it's kind of crazy, but it is doable. Um, you just have to be very reliable and like deliver when people kind of go to bat for you. But yeah, I've just been trying to make like a space where I'm comfortable and continue making content that I'm excited about when I'm not working. Um, uh, if you might have seen my Skyrim content or my Fallout content, and I just feel like YouTube in general, and this is even like TikTok, everyone just overproduces everything to the point where every video takes forever to make and it's too long and too many resources. And I'm just kind of sick of that. So I'm just trying to reframe my content in a way that like, is just chill to make and just feels more authentic. I just feel like everyone's sick and tired of content that looks like TV because you could just go watch TV, you know? And it's something that I started to see when I, even when I was still working at IGN, like you saw the numbers go down in viewership and like I was comparing it to COVID numbers, which we're never going to get back because everyone was just home. But like people don't want everything to be so buttoned up to this like level that you can't relate to anymore and i'm sick of making stuff like that down to the point where like i think this is like the most normal i've spoken in a video without hitting you with my hey guys what's up specter here voice and it's just nice to not do that for a change i kind of just wanted to sit here and talk to you guys about life and like the whole situation and i said a lot of things in that video i said that i was you know grateful for all of you guys. I said that I was hopeful to like make things that you enjoy. I was hopeful for moving away and like starting this new chapter. And at Alchemy, I still get to, you know, I'm not a dev or anything, but I'm still in conversations with the people who can implement changes. I can still shape the narrative around the games that we put out in terms of like the marketing narrative. And it's so much fun to just make things for people on social to remind them of the fun that they had with like job sim or with vacation sim. I'm not any more, I guess, jaded by what happened with IGN. Like I get it. It's I'm more sad because I love IGN as an outlet and I feel that like the industry of like games media, not even just actual games, is like so unsustainable in the way that it's being run. And I can see it sort of degrading these outlets that like I really enjoyed as a kid. And now as an adult, I can fully understand how they're just gonna, they, in my opinion, they're failing a bit. And I don't think that that's a controversial opinion. I think all you have to do is look at their view counts on their videos between now and the past couple years. And I don't know, as much as I love this stuff, it seems to be going away or just not as popular and it just kind of sucks. But yeah, so for now, I guess you can find me on Alchemy Labs official, you know, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you, you know, <laughs> follow faceless game companies. I'm the face under there. Uh, me and a few other people, of course. I'm not the only one. <laughs> and as for this channel, I'd like to keep making stuff, but like I said, I don't want to keep... I, I want to have a high production like value and high production quality on my stuff, but not to the point where I'm like, dude, I don't want to make that video because it's going to take X amount of hours or like it's gonna take a month to get all this stuff done before I could put this video out. Like, I don't wanna do that. I'd rather just make consistent, pretty chill content <laughs> that looks, I don't wanna say good enough because I still do wanna like keep sharpening my skills on here as like my practice outside of work, but not so much to the point where it becomes like an insane production for like a highlight video or like a review or you know, a news video. Like it's not that deep, it's not that serious. And honestly, I think the more complex we make things, the less relatable they are. And nobody wants to watch that stuff. Like I said, you could just go watch TV. I think a big lesson that I learned though from this whole IGN thing was like, don't let your job become everything that you are. Like after IGN, 
and like starting to work with Alchemy. And I was a contractor for the first, and then I became a full time employee, kind of the same way, actually exactly the same way as IGN. Um, I learned that like your job can't be your identity. You know, like for years I was just like, I'm Spectre Gaming and whatever. And then I was, I'm Alan Torres, producer at IGN. Like, it's just not, it's not worth giving you that much of yourself to ultimately a company that can't care about you that much. And that's not to say that like, you know, your coworkers don't care about, it's just a company. And it's like, at the end of the day, someone you might never have met could make a decision like that for you. And it's not to throw shade on anyone in particular. It's just, that's just how it is. Um, and so you can't really let it be all that you are. Like I, literally my handle on some stuff is Alan Torres, I guess, because like, I don't even know how to be a separate person on social media anymore. Uh, cause my position in this industry was my personality for so long. Um, and I guess that was worth changing. And that's not to say that like I put in any less effort at my job now, but I just recognize that like I need to be sort of my own person with my own style and my own choices so that I can then bring that back to my job, which goes back to like the kind of content I want to make here and stuff. For those of you that are looking to get into the industry, I can only speak from like a games media perspective because that's how I got in. I can't write a single line of code. Um, I'd still say like freelance for sites, but man, are those salaried positions getting harder and harder to get. And no, they don't pay that great at all. And it's just going to be tough. But if you build a body of work, put it somewhere where people can see it and then just hone that craft till they have to you get good enough till someone has to pay you for it. It's still possible, I think. And just know that there are a lot of off ramps from that. Like you can go into like community management. You can go into like marketing for games like I did. You can go into PR. Like there's so many jobs around games that I think younger people don't realize that you don't have to just be a streamer, a YouTuber, a dev or like a CEO. I think there's like six jobs people think of when it comes to games. And there's a lot. And um, just, you know, go out there and do some research and you might find something you really like. But yeah, as for me, I mean, Everything kind of shook out in the best way possible. I lost a job, but I got a better one <laughs> in terms of like, you know, compensation and benefits and stuff like that and hours and stuff like that. I, I'm Again, I'm not going to knock my old job or the people who were there. That's not what this video is for. Um, <laughs> I lost an apartment, but I got a bigger one. I, you know, lost having, you know, getting to move to L.A. to work, but I got a permanent remote job like stuff shook out, I think, in a way that I didn't know would be better for me and I'm really grateful for that and I'm kind of just trying to process all that I think and even this video is just me verbally processing it that's also why there's no script or you know annoying youtuber voice but yeah thank you guys for watching all my videos still if you do thank you for watching this one even though you don't even really know me um but just being an in like interested and in, taking an interest um I appreciate you and I'm going to keep making stuff that, you know, hopefully entertains you and keep making stuff and sharing things with people uh, that I think are exciting. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep playing Writer's Republic and it's like 530 in the morning, but I might as well just stay up now. <laughs> and as always, thanks for watching, guys.